feel ways about it. Feel ways about it, but I'm not like I'm not shocked by it by anything. Two, step two, step two, step two, picky, 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 big girl. Right? Yeah. Maybe because I went to an all black school, mm -hmm. worrying about a school shooting was never really like Maybe we should just welcome ourselves back. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Should've oh left you. Oh my god. Iconic and iconic. Somewhere between I want it and I got it. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Somewhere in Between. I don't know if you noticed or not, but we took a little bit of a pause. <laughs> Just a little bit. A the, small one. The forever pause. Yeah. We was like, hey, we're going to take a week off and then that week just kind of, you know, turned into a year. But Has it been a year? It's been over a year. Our last one was before Trump was officially elected. Let's just start there. <laughs> it's how been a you, crazy year. I was going to say, how do you think the year's gone? Uh, First year president, just out here, taking names, killing them, literally. First year of Trump, it's not necessarily ideal, but realistically, it's probably what we could have expected from a Trump presidency. Because he really, I mean, people are outraged and shocked, but... I think people just want a reason to be outraged yeah. and shocked. I don't... When you watch it for real, besides the fact that this is sort of a joke and, uh, you know, like that's it. He's definitely putting all the homies on, which I can't be mad at. I'm yeah. like, if, now you know you can put the homies on. Like, yeah. they say you can't, but really. If my daughter need a job, I got it. <laughs> right, and she doesn't have to answer any questions. Cause Over, I don't feel any kind of way about it. I'm with it. Uh, <sighs> I mean, I feel ways about it. feel ways about it, but I'm not like, I'm not shocked about it by anything. Does that make sense? Which is, I think that's the sadder part. Like, that no one is shocked at all anymore. It's like, oh, Trump did some more Trump things. It's a Tuesday. Congrats. Yes, like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, oh, okay. Russia's the homie. Cool. No oh, okay. big deal. Okay, teachers should have guns. Okay. <laughs> like, you know. And, in case of a shooting, he would come in, he would go in first, whether he had a gun or not. Yeah. What do you need a gun for? Yeah. Go hey. with your hands. the school students there have been like what 18 or 19 so far this year this year yeah it's crazy how many there have been oh like my God. actual shootings at a school not like it's not like parkland was last week where 17 people died but, yeah, been but there's just been shootings in schools yeah. i just don't remember like worrying about there being guns at schools like at my school like once the bell rang the doors locked like you couldn't get in maybe because i went to an all black school mm -hmm. worrying about a school shooting was never really like a big fear of mine. Now, if I was going to like a basketball what you, game, what are you saying? What are you saying, Swipe? Uh, <laughs> yes, the kids in my school carry guns, but I mean, what are you saying? I didn't have to worry about anybody ringing the bell and just shooting up the hall. Why? That wasn't a realistic like. Why do you think that that's the thing? Why are you saying that? <laughs> Where are you going with this? I'm saying black kids don't shoot up schools. Oh, yeah. uh, that's fired. Nice. I mean, yeah, oh, well, just a little, sorry. just a little. Uh, yeah. That was while I was at school. Time I left school, that's when I worried about everyone else, like, you know, doing something crazy when we got off the bus. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. I know at, at Stevenson we did not have metal detectors, but we did have to have, um, like, clear book like bags. Like, see-through backpacks? Yeah. My thing with all of that, right, though, is even if you have all those things, you can't put an AK-47 in your backpack. But you can put a handgun in there. Yeah, but you're not, you're not going to mass shooting the school with a handgun. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm, let's just call a spade a spade. Like, they're just walking in. Can you, like, do you think he had on a cape? Like, did he just come in, like, set the scene for me for, like, a, to shoot up a, I just don't get it. I don't understand in how my, no one saw him. In my head, it would be... Here's somebody who came up to the school, or at the very least knows the school. Oh, he was a student. Yeah, he was a former student, right? Who got kicked out for having bullets in his backpack. Yeah. So, I remember at Stevenson, in the mornings, our, our front doors were the only ones that were unlocked. So, they had security at both of those doors. So, anybody coming in, security would see them and meet them before they got anywhere else. Right. But once school started, 
like the other doors that led inside and outside would become unlocked because we had to get all over the school and they just can't. Like it would have been way too long for us to walk around. So like side doors and stuff would have been open. So this is a former student who knows the school. Conceivably, I can see how you could drive up to the school, maybe even walk around a little bit because, okay, I recognize his face and right. I don't know what year he was supposed to graduate or something like that. Goes into the side door, goes into a bathroom or something with a bag and sets up shop. Because, I mean, like, but this stuff, they can, like, the gun stuff can be broken down to where it fits in. Oh, like okay. a bag or something. Yeah. That's what I mean, where like he goes in there and sets everything up, then goes in the hallway. Like walks out of the bathroom. Yeah. That would be now. Ugh. I have no idea if that's what actually happened, but theoretically that's what I say it would be. Weird. Feels weird. It feels, it feels weird. Feels weird that fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen year old kids have to think about getting shot up at school. They have to become activists because our politicians, you know, like nobody wants to make it even just slightly harder to get a gun or an assault rifle. Yeah, even listening to the NRA, I'm just like, mm, I hear you, but no one's trying to take away all of your guns, yeah. just a few of them. It's like, uh, the enemy of the perfect is the good. So if you keep ser searching for nice. a, per a perfect solution, it's not going to come. Right. But just because you can't get a perfect solution doesn't mean that you can't make the situation better than what it is. Like a solution. Yeah. Right. So, hey. 21 and up assault rifles. If you have any type of criminal history, no guns whatsoever. You got to go mandatory training. You have to renew your license every year, every two years or something. I don't understand why that's like a hard concept. Like every, you have to get your tags renewed. Well, I guess some people will say it's a, it's a right, not a privilege. Whereas like driving is a privilege. Like voting, where all you really got to do is, hey, this is the address in the county I live in. I have the right to vote now. I don't have to go and re-register every single time. But you do have unless to register. Unless I move. Yeah, I mean, like, they make you register, too. You have to register, but it's not, like, a, a constant thing where, you know, well, I don't know if you move or go to a different state or something, okay, mm -hmm. I gotta let them know, but it's not like I gotta constantly take a test to prove that I can vote. Yeah, but it's not, I feel like it's not the same when you're talking about mental capacity, because your mental state changes all the time. Facts on. You know what I mean? So, to say that you shouldn't have to have like you don't you're not born with Alzheimer's like Alzheimer's you get it and if you have it should you have a gun eh. I can answer that one <laughs> <laughs> capitals on the, on the nose capitals nose that's what I'm saying so like to say for me it just sounds like a lot of people who just aren't thinking past themselves like yeah you might be cool but what if I'm not? And because you don't want to have to take a test, now we've got 19 mass shootings happening in a year, and it's almost March. Like, almost March, and there's been 19 shootings. It's crazy. And these are children buying, like, children buying AK-47s just doesn't make any sense. And I did totally understand, like, well, if you can go to war for your country, then you, you should, should be able to get a gun. You should be able to get a handgun. You should be able to get a handgun. Or maybe, like, a single, like a single barrel shotgun or something. Right, and I feel like using war every time like something comes up is like a bit of a push. Like, just because you join the military does not mean you automatically are going to have an AK-47. Or how about this? Not everyone joins the military. Some people get rejected. It's so facto. <laughs> <laughs>